Revelation 6, 5. When he opened the third seal, I heard the living creature say, Come and see. So I looked, and behold, a black horse, and he who sat on it had a pair of scales in his hand. Now, I have to point out, most people misunderstand a pair of scales. In the Greek, the Greek word is zugos. It's spelled like this, spelled like zygos, but it's pronounced zugos. And this is the definition of that word, a yoke, yoke, a frame and crossbar placed on draft animals to pull various objects. Another meaning is a pair of scales as in an ancient balance pan for scales. Now I'm going to show you a picture of both of these. Yeah. And I think it'll change your understanding of what they mean. Most people don't think of this when they think of scales. So this is a yoke. This is how it's put on draft animals. So their head goes through the loops and then there's a, there's a chain attached in the middle and they usually pull something heavy. Um, the intention here is to balance the strength of the two animals, but they're in bondage Mm. because they're pulling something, right? Oh, so this is, this is a, this is a real yoke Two two animals yoked together. The intention, you don't, you don't want to be unequally yoked. There's actually a scripture that talks about be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion have light with darkness. So it's important that you have two animals that are about the same strength. You don't want to have like a, a big, huge ox and a little calf because they're right. going to, they're going to plow sideways. So it's important that they're about the same size. This is an ancient balance. Looks an, looks an awful lot like a yoke, right? right? Same thing. So you've got two places for hooks where you would put the pans, and then you've got a place for balance in the middle. Again, the message here is you have a balance. This is, this is what most people see when they think of pair of scales. They think of you know these pans on either side, and you're weighing something out. So you can see how the, the, the word is used for both you, you see the message given here, right? Yeah, so, so you this would be easily the- easily think that it's referencing um, something else, but it's yeah interesting. But it, so it is- does it does touch on what seems to be inflation when it talks about uh, barley yep. and other things. Yeah, and and that's the next scripture, and I'm going to show you why people often get confused and it's important to have an, this is one of those cases where it's important to understand the meaning of the word. So we don't really get the understanding of it from the English meaning of the word. If, if, if they had used the word yoke, it would probably probably drastically change how people interpret seal number three. But now that you know that seal number three, that, that the rider on the black horse is holding a yoke, that kind of changes the mental imagery here. Now let's read so this is before we read about um, uh, the uh, that what you had mentioned about measuring barley. Mm-hmm. Let's look at the eclipse that I think is associated with seal number three. Okay. So this happened, and this happened in the ox or the calf on June tenth, twenty twenty one. Interesting. There was an eclipse. Yep. So this is the third living creature. So remember that perspective, looking down at the earth. This is the third one. This is what happened on that day. So they met in Cornwall, England, the G7 summit met in Cornwall, England on the day of this eclipse, June 10th, 2021. Boris Johnson and Joe Biden did the COVID elbow bump, which suspiciously looks like Gemini. <laughs> so if and you that look would at Gemini be, right that there. That would be the two nations yoked together you know, that is the two that. nations of about equal size, right? Because equal you don't strength. want to be unequally yoked. Yep. Two nations yoked together. Interesting. And the eclipse was visible. So this is Cornwall. Remember how I said that it's interesting how where the these edge. are visible seems to be on the edges. So this is where the eclipse happened. And that's where Cornwall, England is. Wow. It was visible from both countries. Yeah. Huh, this is an interesting perspective. So how does that tie into the wheat um, and barley? I'm going to get to that. 
Okay. Let me let me finish the yolk. Let me finish the yolk first because we haven't oh, discussed really what good. the yolk was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this is what they signed on that day. And you can find this on the White House. It's still up there today. Just type in the New Atlantic Charter. I didn't put this whole thing on here because I, we don't really have time to go through it. But basically, they agreed to eight categories. Those eight categories basically make them one country. So they, they have the same purpose regards health care, climate change, um, defending each other, stuff like that. Same stuff we're hearing in the World Economic Forum to, to correlate those things together. Mm -hmm. But this is the yoke. This is the, the, the burden that is linking the United States and the United Kingdom together, two countries about equal, and it's being held by that rider on the black horse. Interesting. Yep. So, and just for good measure, I put a video in here of the eclipse that happened on that day, just so you guys know I'm not making it up. Which I'll let you know you're not making it up. <laughs> um, here is a video of them, of them actually signing. Where is it? So this no, gets I, into the details. So the new, the new Atlantic Charter isn't the first time that they've been yoked together. This goes back to our discussion about every generation the devil has an antichrist of it ha, raises up an antichrist to lead. Right. The new Atlantic Charter. I think they actually signed it in 1948, and it, really? this was the renewal. Yeah. Interesting. I could be wrong it, about that. Yeah. Somebody correct me and figure out when they originally signed it. Um, that might be have been, really, it might have been 1950. Well, that'd be really interesting if it was 48, though, for obvious reasons. Right. Yeah. Wow. I got a video in here for you to see where they where they talk about the new Atlantic Charter. And then let's see this one. This is them actually doing the COVID bump on that day. Which no, I, I we definitely so... understand now. Yeah. Is this doing the COVID bump? No, this is just Boris Johnson talking about the... So... Um, so how does that, I know I've asked that once, but how does it tie together the wheat and barley and stuff like that? I, I, I'm, well, I'm so sure glad you asked Christopher. Let's, <laughs> let's read Revelation 6, 6. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I've been sitting right. here scratching my head on it. I know. So let's read the section of scripture that actually talks about that. So that's Revelation 6, 6. Right. It says, and I heard a voice in the midst of, of the four living creatures saying a quart of wheat for a denarius and three quarts of barley for a denarius and do not harm the oil and the wine. Hmm. This verse immediately comes after the one about the balance. Right. So it, it's, it makes sense that people would associate them together thinking that the seal number three is associated with inflation, but that's not what it says. If you read this first sentence, it says, and I heard a voice in the middle of the four living creatures. In other words, in the middle of the four events that the four living creatures are pointing to hmm. a quart of wheat for a denarius and three quarts of barley. In other words, it's not directly associated with seal number three. It's associated with all four seals being opened up. Oh, so the inflation could be it really any time between seal one and four. Now look at this. So this, this is not an updated chart. I pulled this in 2022, mm -hmm. but I put the dates on here. So you've got December 23rd, 2019. The price was here. December 14th, 2020, the price had increased. In wow. June of 2021, it had increased more. And then look how it just starts to skyrocket. Oh, I'd be so fascinated to see what it is now in 2024. Oh, I'm going to have to look yeah. that up. I bet you it keeps Same going thing up. for the barley. Yep, and everybody is feeling this in the economy. Why? Oh, sure. Why are my? Why is my mayonnaise thirteen dollars when I used to buy it for a dollar ninety nine? You know what I mean? Right. So, that's an important distinction that the inflation is the result of all four seals being open, not just three. So now you kind of see the picture that's being painted here, right? The what's being set up. So this mm -hmm. explains what's been going on, why things are, have been so crazy. And it gets, it gets even crazier. Hey folks, thanks for being here. Again, we really enjoy being with everybody. We go live every day except Friday night, Saturday night. Monday at noon, we go live with Dr. Sean Michael Greener. We appreciate everybody so much.